Hey, hey, what's up, my awesome peeps? It is Mandy with My Trainer Mandy, your holistic lifestyle fitness and nutrition expert. Happy Wednesday to everyone. I'm super excited to share with you guys tonight about your journey to vibrant health and some tips and tricks and some different things um, about what we can do to have vibrant health. So feel my love and appreciation for taking time out of your night to jump on the live Facebook video. And if it resonates with you and you feel called to do so, please do me a favor and share this live video to your Facebook timeline. Because when you share this video, other people on your Facebook timeline uh, will get to see this very valuable information. So um, if, you, if you feel called to do so, please share. And also, once you jump on, do me a favor, comment below and say hi. I can see that I have viewers, but I don't always know who's on. So just comment and say what's up. I like to know who's on. I like to be able to tell you guys hello as well. Um, and then also make sure that you're signed up for my live notifications. So um, maybe you're new to checking out my live Facebook videos. Either way, just be sure that you click the button below somewhere here in the comments. I choose to know, but I've seen it before on other people's live videos. Um, just click it to make sure that you get the notifications when I go live. Hey, Tracy Ann, how are you, sister? I can see uh, when some of you people jump on, but sometimes I don't know who all's on here. So do me a favor, comment below, say hi. Once again, share the video if you feel called to do so. We're talking about your journey to vibrant health tonight, so it's going to be really awesome. Um, also, make sure you're signed up for my live Facebook notifications so that you'll know when I go live. Uh, Jeffrey Dale, is it college football season? Uh, are you trying to be sarcastic, Jeffrey? You don't like my sweatshirt or what? You know I'm super hardcore Aggie. Don't be a hater. Um, yeah, you know, I'm always representing the Aggies. I just, I can't help myself. I have tons of, uh, of Aggie gear, so that's just pretty much uh, a lot of my wardrobe. Uh, but yeah, and it's a little bit chilly here right now, so I'm pimping the, uh, the Aggie sweatshirt with old Sarge. I've actually had this sweatshirt since 2008. <laughs> I love it. Um, so yeah, once again, when you tune in, guys, just do me a favor, comment below, say hi. I like to know who's on here watching. And happy belated birthday, Jeff. I know I chatted with you yesterday, but um, but for sure, happy birthday, and I trust you had an awesome day. I was inviting you to call it out. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, a lot of people sometimes like to poke fun about about the Aggie stuff. But either way, I'm hardcore um, Aggie. I'm from Bryan College Station, Texas. I graduated from A&M, and uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be supporting the Aggies for sure. Hey, Beth, how are you, sister? Thanks for tuning in. So um, a little bit about me is my name is Mandy Fonville. I'm a holistic lifestyle fitness and nutrition coach. I have been a personal trainer since 2005. I'm also a yoga instructor and I have a certification in advanced food healing. Um, I've had my own health challenges and things in the past. And uh, yeah, it just caused me to be super passionate about what I do now to support other people and empower them to transform their lives. And actually what we're talking about tonight is going to be really phenomenal about your journey to vibrant health. I'm going to talk a lot about my past experiences with depression and how our thoughts and how our mindset is super critical and crucial to the life that we live and the, and the life that we actually create. Because if you don't know, then I'm going to go ahead and let you in on a little hint. Your thoughts actually turn to things. So depending on what you're focusing on and where your mind is at is kind of a reflection of what you got going on in your external world. So if you're not happy with your life, then you get to start making some new choices and you get to start really paying attention um, to your thoughts and some other things like that. So we're going to go over a lot of that tonight. Um, hey, what's up, Jeremiah? Thanks for tuning in. What's up, Beth? Yeah, whoop, I feel you, sister. Um, hey, yeah, Jeremiah, yeah, for sure. I'm about to get, I'm about to get on this subject. I can't wait. So, um, yeah, and a little bit of a disclaimer as well as I'm not a medical doctor. Nothing that I share is meant to diagnose, prevent, treat, or cure anything or any kind of disease or ailment in the body. So be sure that you check with your medical doctor. Um, although a lot of the stuff that I do share, it really will change your life. But it's all for educational purposes and just, you know, me personally choosing to share, you know, information with you guys. So I want to make sure I get that disclaimer out of the way. Um, and also, too, you know, I've invested a lot of my, um, you know, emotional energy my time monetarily, things like that into uh, programs and audios and coaches and retreats and clinics and things like that. So this really is a passion of mine to just really delve deeper into things and learn more and to be able to support other people. And honestly, guys, there's so many people out there that they don't even have a clue that they create their reality. They don't have a clue that the thoughts that they're thinking is actually what's going out ahead of them and in front of them and creating their life. They think that they're just sitting around and like it's dumb luck and like stuff's happening and that is not how it works. But 
But, um, you know, I'm here to share that with you guys because I didn't always know this stuff. And so once I learned this stuff and I was able to transform my life, then like, boom, like everything changed. And it's just such a beautiful thing and a beautiful journey. And of course, we are all here on our own journey, right? We all have our certain experiences that we go through um, and things that we uh, maybe are challenged with, etc., that actually shape and form us as a human being. Um, so I believe that everything is for our greatest expansion. And when you can like really love everything, even the shitty stuff and the traumatic stuff and the and the stuff that doesn't feel very good or whatever, and, and maybe you've had, you know, some 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 situations occur in your life, but actually choosing to love that and then let it go, it's very freeing. And then also digging deep into that and figuring out, hey, where where did I play a part in that? How did I potentially create that in my life that I attracted maybe that specific person or situation or the circumstances? Um, because when you do that and you fully show up and you're aware and you're conscious, that's what that means, is that you're conscious of your thoughts, you're conscious that you create your reality. Um, but when you're fully stepping into your power and you're showing up in your life and you're saying like, okay, okay, I probably had a hand in that somewhere and I can take full responsibility that I actually created that, then you can stop blaming everybody else. You can stop saying it's bad luck or blaming, you know, somebody else and the external because really it all stems from you. So once again, when you show up, take full responsibility and you realize that you're creating your reality, you're creating your life, you have the thoughts in your head. Nobody else can get into your mind and think your thoughts for you. Only you can do that. Um, so it really is a uh, very, I guess, liberating, I would say. Um, so for a really long time, you know, I had that victim mentality. I had the, oh, poor pitiful me. I had the, oh, it's everybody else's fault. You know, it was my upbringing. It's my mom's fault. It's my childhood. It's because of this. It's because of that. No, I mean, yeah, I, I thought that for a really long time. But truth is, is that once I really stepped into my full power and I got really clear that like that's not really the way life works and um, I actually created all those things and I like to always believe this way too um, you know I trust that you guys would understand what I'm saying but we really um, we're spiritual beings we're a soul we're a spirit we are um, you know we're one with God let's just say whatever word you choose to insert there whether it's God universe source or creator I'm not here to tell you what to believe or what to say but I trust that most people believe you come from some higher power or higher source, right? So um, if you really start understanding and realizing that everything, you know, really is for your greatest expansion and that somehow or another you chose those parents and you chose that life and you chose to be born into that family and you chose this and you chose that, whatever it is, right? Look back on your story, look back on whatever that is and say, you know what? I chose all that shit and it's cool and I love it and I chose it because it's making me the badass person that I am now. So when you can fully embrace that, because I promise you now that I've really stepped into my power and I've seen all of these things, as a blessing to my life and that they all occurred for a purpose and for a reason like it once again it's just liberating and it's phenomenal and it's beautiful so not to say that I haven't been through some trauma not to say that I haven't had some some trying times in my life and not to say I haven't had hard times in my life and and that's not what this video is for for me to sit here and dump all my shit but I can honestly tell you that that I've been through some stuff now so um but once again just to be able to consciously look at it being aware and alert that you know it's somehow or another I chose this life I chose chose this physical body. I chose to come into this world as Mandy. I chose to be born on June 20th, 1980 um, into the family that I was born into, you know? So um, our parents did the best that they could, right? God love them. Their parents did the best that they could. And it's also beautiful. So somewhere along the line, um, like our two parents, you know, got together. This is another thing I like to tell people to, to think about. So Think about all the billions of people we have in this world and think about what it took for your mom and your dad to somehow or another meet one another and get together and then think even further about, you know, what it took for them to actually, um, you know, of course, they have the physical, the sex or whatnot. And then, um, you know, you're conceived and you're you're born into this, you know, physical human experience. But when you really get clear on it, you think about, wow, like, what are the chances that my mom and my dad met? You know, like, where's your mom from? Where's your dad from? Like, how did they actually meet? Like, when you really break it all down and you're like, holy crap crap. That's super freaking cool. That actually too just gives you more of an awareness that you are here for a specific purpose and you are divinely created. Like you're no accident that your parents met and that you were conceived because let's just say that they never ever met or let's say they met but it was three or four years later. Like would you have ever been born? Like I don't know. I just like to think like that and I just believe it's a very beautiful thing when we can start appreciating our life and we can start appreciating like the stuff that we've been through and we can like just love it. We can love like all the shit that we have been through. Like like, seriously. And I know sometimes that may be hard to wrap your head around. And like I said, I've been through trauma. I've been through experiences where it's not always, you know, it's not always super fun. But we get to, you know, um, direct 
ourselves and our thoughts and our thinking. We get to choose how we see a situation, right? It's all about perspective. So maybe you went through like a really traumatic divorce. Maybe your lover cheated on you. Um, you know, maybe your car got stolen. Maybe your house burned down. Like I'm just throwing random stuff out there. But to, to really be able to step back and take a look at that and see that there is a blessing in that somewhere or another, okay? Even though it may seem like the hardest struggle ever, but there is some blessing that will come out of that. Maybe you won't realize it right away, but at some point you will realize it. Like to me, that's that's a beautiful thing. So um, I like to always try try my best to um, think of things, you know, positively, no matter what it is that's going on. And um, just have love and appreciation for your life. So that's kind of what this video is going to be about. I'm going to really touch on some more specific things, but that's kind of just an overview of especially, you know, just kind of how I live my life and how I think about things. So once again, you know, I'm not perfect. And and like I said, I have personal testimonial with sharing all this information to you guys because I grew up with depression. I took antidepressants for 16 years. You know, I played the blame game about it was my upbringing. It was my childhood. It was this. It was that. Um, and, you know, once I stopped and I, and I turned all that around and I was like, you know, no one is responsible for my life but me and maybe it took me you know how many ever years to finally figure that out I think I came more into awareness with this maybe around the age of like 34 or so but the more that I've continued to dive deeper and like learn more about this stuff and to really just get more clear and more spiritual because I actually posted a meme about this the other day on my Facebook page but being spiritual is not just about being positive and being optimistic and having positive thoughts being spiritual is like digging deep and getting into that shit like whatever it is in your life and whatever you've been through in the past and really um Lifting the veil, you know, I should say, and uh, just feeling it, fully feeling your feelings surrounding all of it and loving it and let it, letting it be okay. Because when we're able to do that, we're actually able to let that go and we're able to transform our lives. So maybe you're transforming your fear into faith. You know, whatever it is that maybe you've been experiencing, realize that you can always transform that into the opposite of whatever it is. And it sometimes does take some work and it's not the easiest thing to do. And I'm not sitting here, you know, saying that... Um, that it is super simple because it's not and it takes work and I've, I've mentioned this before it's really like Pandora's box and it's almost like once you open up Pandora's box and you become more conscious and awake you you kind of can't stop so um, you know for me a lot of you guys probably saw that I posted that I've given up alcohol for over a year and just let me be clear like I never had any problems with drinking alcohol it's just that I was finding that I was wanting to go drink alcohol and I was wanting to get drunk because I was simply just choosing to escape my reality so then I got really clear and I was like what the hell's really going on like why am I so miserable why did I drink that much why did I choose to get that drunk like what's going on in there so when I stopped and I took notice of like okay well probably because I'm not really happy and probably because I'm really choosing to do this instead so what I did is I made the decision to stop drinking alcohol and maybe for you it would be um, you know maybe you're binge eating or maybe you're just not taking care of yourself or maybe you're not eating or maybe you're you know drinking soda like smoking cigarettes doing drugs whatever it could possibly be be. You, won't, you know what that is, okay? And let me reiterate that there's no judgment here and that there's no right or wrong and I love you just the way you are and you're fully accepted, okay? You're perfect. You're divinely created. But like I said, sometimes with spirituality and with being conscious, we require stopping and taking note and getting really aware of what's going on because nobody else can do that for you. Nobody else really knows what you're thinking. I mean, even your husband, your mom, your dad, whoever's your closest person to you, your best friend, they don't really know what all kinds of thoughts and stuff you got going on in here. So if you're punishing yourself with negative thinking and self-sabotaging thoughts and therefore you keep, you know, drinking the soda and you're not working out and you're you're binge eating or you're, you're not eating and you're starving yourself, like these are all things that you're doing as a form of punishment and what you get to do is you get to stop and you get to get really clear and say like what the f am I doing this for and why because essentially it doesn't feel good and you know that it doesn't so when you can stop and really just take responsibility for those things and figure out whatever it is that's going on maybe it's something that happened to you a long time ago it could have been something that happened when you were like a kid and maybe you're still carrying that shit around for whatever reason maybe you don't feel worthy to be loved maybe you don't feel worthy to be healthy maybe somewhere in there you have a belief that you could never be healthy, that that's just not how it happens and that we're meant to get old and break down and have health challenges. And when you actually agree with that, then that's what you are going to have in your life. That's what you're going to have show up because that's what you're going to create. So I have that same thing going on. I have this thought or belief that, you know, we get old, our bodies break down, like, 
it's too hard. There's no way that you could be like perfectly, uh, optimally healthy. Like there's always going to be something wrong. You know, like I said, I took antidepressants for 16 freaking years. So essentially that would be comparable to someone being like a drug user because antidepressants, just because they're in a prescription bottle doesn't mean they're not freaking toxic and they're not drugs. So like every day I was mindlessly just like taking this pill, putting it in my mouth, swallowing it, having shitty ass thoughts, um, you know, just feeling like a victim, blaming everything else, always fearful and worried about everything, um, never really at ease, never really thought that, you know, um, like, you know, things could really work out for me, always waiting on the shoe to drop, like, oh, things are going so well now, but there's no way this is going to last for a long time because, you know, shit always, you know, messes up or it never works out, whatever those thoughts are and those, and those, um, those things are that, that people do that I did in the past, right? Um, you know, all that stuff leads to a very, very unhealthy body. So, I'm going to get more in detail of what I mean by that with everything I'm going to say right now. Stacy says, I have had hypothyroid since I was a kid and I gained weight excessively and now I feel good about myself finally. So let me tell you a little bit about that, Stacy. We're going to first talk about something and then I'm going to bring that back up. So first of all, just realize this, the word disease or dis-ease, D-I-S dash E-A-S-E, dis-ease represents the body being at dis-ease, right? Or uneasy. So what does that really mean, okay? What it really means is that your mind and your thoughts are so freaking powerful that whatever it is that you're choosing to be to think about and that you, whatever your belief systems are, that is also what is telling your body all the way down to actually a cellular level. So when you're thinking all these negative thoughts like I'm not good enough and da-da-da-da-da, right? I don't have to keep saying that stuff again. So cancel, clear, delete on all that. Um, but when you're doing that kind of stuff, you're literally telling your body down to a cellular level that, you know, you're not worthy or there's no way you could ever be healthy and all these different things and all those beautiful 76 trillion uh, cells that you have into your body in your body they start you know communicating with each other and telling each other what's going on and literally your body is at dis-ease like that is exactly how it occurs and so I just got done sharing my personal testimonial I could go on and on and give way more detail and in more depth about that um, but the point is is that whenever you have that stuff going on and it's unresolved it's going to show up physically okay so write this down if you choose to but realize this my friends we actually break down energetically and emotionally before we do physically, okay? Let me say that one more time. We break down energetically and emotionally before we actually break down physically. What that means is, first of all, we are energetic beings. We are vibrational energy. We are souls. We are spirits, okay? So when you have some shit going on and you're vibrating at a certain frequency, very negative, very low vibrational frequency, maybe you're experiencing guilt, anger, shame, fear, frustration. All those are very low vibrational frequency emotions that you're feeling. And so once again, you are communicating that to your body all the way down to a cellular level. So can you only imagine what repetitive thoughts that are negative and things like that and also a state of you know de depression or a state of fear or a state of anxiety or just being a pessimistic person um, like all of these things can lead to physical symptoms in the body so that's exactly how it happens and that's number one because consciousness is king okay and I'm doing this because our source or our creator our universe insert whatever works for whatever word works for you God source creator universe stars trees I don't care what it ever what Whatever it is that you believe in, that is up to you. I'm not here to tell you. But just imagine that if you are cutting yourself off from your source, and the reason I say that is because they say to imagine that you have a bright, shiny beam of light that literally goes here from your head all the way up into infinity, into the universe, right? So if you really start thinking about that and you're but you're living not in according to the belief that your God, your source, your creator, or your universe has about you. Can you only imagine why your body would be breaking down? Because I can. Because I know for a fact. Because I've literally taken my life from the pits of hell. Cancel, clear, delete. But I've taken my life from there to where I am now. So I'm living proof that it is possible to do. Um, so I want to get back to that that I was saying a second ago about the hyper th uh, hypo cancel hypothyroidism. Let me tell you what hypothyroidism um, represents. I will also admit that I had challenges with hypothyroidism myself. So 
Hypothyroid is anger with the mom, okay? Anger with your mom. So anyone who is dealing with challenges with hypothyroidism, dig deep. Figure out all there is to know about it. What kind of anger do you have with your mom and why? Literally dig deep, pull all that shit out, get it out, cry about it, feel your feelings about it, love it, let it go. Maybe even write your mom a letter. That doesn't mean you have to give it to her. Write your mom a letter and burn it or maybe put it in an envelope, put it in your Bible. You know, do whatever you require doing, but you got to cancel. You get to get clear on whatever that is. So once again, we break down energetically and emotionally before we do physically. So hypothyroidism is anger with the mom and hyper thyroidism, which is mean the thyroid is working overtime, hyperthyroidism is anger with the dad, okay? And that's not what this video is about, but I'm throwing these things in there because you mentioned that earlier, sister, and I want to make sure I point that out. Um, I personally had my own challenges with hypothyroidism, and in fact, I required taking um, a all-natural uh, prescription because my body, like I, of course, try to be all-natural in every area, so whether it's herbs or um, botanicals or homeopathic remedies or, you know, nutrition, real whole food and things like that. Um, or, you know, natural supplementation, but my body was not having any of that. My body wanted a, a specific prescription. Um, it didn't want some of those other ones that wanted the nature thoid. And apparently, of course, nature nature thoid is synthetic but it's made in a in a lab or whatever um and it's in, it's synthetic it's man-made um but apparently it's a natural substance i choose to know all i know is if you've ever heard of muscle testing then you'll understand what i'm talking about if not do some research on that potentially google that and do a little bit of research about muscle testing but what muscle testing is is it's like attracts like so anytime um you're holding up something against your body or even potentially thinking about something your body is going to give off a yes or a no signal signal. And that once go, once again goes back to the fact that we are energetic beings. So um, I had my naturopath muscle test me on what my body desired and it required uh, the, the nature thoid, right, to treat my hypothyroidism. So once again, muscle testing is like cures like. So whenever you're, um, like even for example, if I go to the store and I'm thinking about getting something, I can literally like hold it up to my body and I can see like, is it a strong signal or is it not? And so there's different ways to do that and I could potentially do a, a live Facebook video more specific about muscle testing. Um, because you guys know I can talk forever. I have so much knowledge and I'm so passionate about sharing all this stuff and feel my love and appreciation for everyone that's commenting and everyone who's on the video tonight. I'm really on a roll, so forgive me if I'm not um, acknowledging you right now. Uh, but I don't want my videos to be way, way, way too long. I've had people say like, your videos are so long. But, you know, um, I'm trying to really just, you know, shorten it for you guys. But in other words, we muscle tested my body. My body uh, required the nature thoid. So I was okay with that. And I took it for about four months, okay? And I got to the point where, I was like, I don't want to keep taking this, this medication. And I had found out this stuff about how hypothyroidism has to do with anger with the mom. So what did I do? I started digging deep. You know, I had all kinds of shit showing up, right? I like to say that word, but it's so true. And uh, as someone mentioned earlier too, I like to say it's another coaches that I follow. It's her saying, she says the gift is in the shit. That's her saying. She's a beautiful being and uh, she supported me so much. But honestly, what that means is that whenever you're going through stuff, there's always a gift in there. There's always something in there that's going to cause you to upgrade higher in life. That's going to bring you closer to being the highest vibrational frequency that you can be and to be the being and the person that you were called to be when you were put here on this earth. Like I said, we all are divinely created. We all have a purpose for being here. So, um, you know, once again, we did the muscle testing. That's what my body required. So I took the nature toy, but I wasn't really happy about it. I was like, man, hold up. Like, I don't want to keep taking this medication. I don't want to depend on this. Like I had got off antidepressants middle of 2000. When was that? 2012, June of 2012. Took I weaned myself down, of course, and that's a whole nother story. Um, so I do support people in all these things as well. If you require any support, reach out to me. But once again, I'm not a doctor. Nothing I say is meant to diagnose, treat, prevent, or cure anything. But you can wean yourself off medication. You can heal your body. You can use real whole food to heal your body. You can use your mind to heal your body. Uh, write this down. There is a book called Mind Over Medicine by Dr. Lisa Rankin. Once again, it's called Mind Over Medicine by Dr. Lisa Rankin. And she's actually an MD and she did a ton of research about the placebo effect and all this kind of stuff. Literally how people can use their mind to heal their body. Okay. So I actually read that book. I was taking the nature thoid. I read that book and I had found out about hypothyroidism and what that meant consciously and energetically. It was anger with the mind. Mom, and I said, you know what? Yeah, 
yeah, I potentially do have some unresolved anger with my mom. And I got to get really clear on all the shit that I was experiencing and what I was really feeling. And this is why I was living here at home. I moved back to Bryan College Station actually August of 2015. And it was shortly after that that I required the nature thoid. So it was like October or November. Yeah. No, maybe it was a little bit sooner. It may have been like right around October. But I was on it for, like I said, like around three or four months. And I read that book by Dr. Lisa Rankin, uh, Mind Over Medicine. And I just got really clear. And it was like Pandora's box once again. I mean, this has been my lifestyle for a while now. But, you know, there's always work to be done. It's such a beautiful journey. So it's not like you just do it and it's over with. Like there's going to be more and more stuff essentially that's going to be moving from the back to the front. That's uh, that's that's literally going to appear in your life. And you're going to understand like, wow, I'm triggered by that. Or wow, that's something that I require dealing with. So, um, you know, I got really clear on what it was I was um, experiencing and potentially why I was feeling that way. And and it was hard. It was hard. It was challenging, you know, in the past. And uh, I got through it. And so the beautiful thing with that is I read that book and I was taking the nature thoid and I needed a very minimal, minimal, minimal amount. So whatever the, uh, the dosage was, it was a little bitty tiny pill. It was like the smallest dosage that it even comes in. And I only required like a fourth of that pill. So, I would use my little thumbnail here with my acrylic nails and I would, you know, break the little tiny peel into fours and every morning on an empty stomach, I would take like a quarter of one of those tiny peels. I think it ended up being maybe like only a couple milligrams or like, I don't even know, a percentage of a milligram. I choose to remember. Whatever it was, it wasn't very much, but my body needed it. And I read that book by Dr. Lisa Rankin and I started thinking about it and I said, you know what, like this is basically just a pill that I'm thinking or that I cancel. This is a pill that I'm taking that I'm just thinking is like solving the problem. So potentially, if I use my mind, like the book uh, that she talks about, Mind Over Medicine, if I use my mind, um, you know, to shift things, and if I get really clear with the anger challenges that I potentially, you know, have with my mom that I require loving and letting go of, um, then, you know, I can heal my thyroid. And so that's what I started doing. And so I was down to my very last bottle. I had a, I had a prescription for it. And actually, the uh, the MD that prescribed it to me, because, you know, nat- naturopaths can't write prescriptions. So the MD that prescribed prescribed it to me, they actually contacted me and they said, hey, you know, you require coming in for another appointment. We're going to have to draw blood. We're going to have to test your levels and, you know, give you another round of prescription, write you another three months or whatever it was for the prescription. And I was like, you know what? That's a little bit inconvenient for one. And I'm just really, you know, not in a place where I'm choosing to keep taking this medication. So I only had like maybe three or four pills left. And like I said, I was cutting them into quarters. So every time I would take that pill first thing in the morning, I would take that pill and I would believe, I would say, you know, I literally would say it out loud and I would say it to myself. I'm like, this is the last time I'm going to be taking this medication. When I'm done with this bottle, like I'm done, my thyroid will be healed. Everything will be back online. You know, like I love and accept myself, you know, um, and I would just repeat affirmations and decrees about me, my health, my mom, my relationship with my mom and things like that. And sure enough, I got down to the very last pill. I was completely out of it. So it was going to either be me go back and get another prescription or it was going to be I was just done with the medication altogether. And I reached out to my naturopath and I was like, hey, you know, I require muscle testing again to see what's going on here. And sure enough, I muscle tested that I did not require the medication anymore. And dude, I'm not even joking. I cried tears of joy. Of course, I was expressing it to her and to my mom. I was like, I literally healed my body. I healed my body with my mind. Like I worked so hard at letting all of that stuff go. And I worked so hard at, you know, when I would take that medication, believing that this would be the last time that I would be taking this medication. So I'm just going to tell you right now. First of all, I love you so much. Feel my love for you. And if you're experiencing any kind of symptoms or health challenges in your life, chances are it's going to be rooted in something emotional, guys, because we break down energetically and emotionally before we do physically. So depending on where it's at in your body, there is something called sacred body language. Okay. What that means is it's your subconscious mind. It's communicating with you through your body. One more example. If you have stomach challenges, if you have challenges with digestion, if you have stomach pains, if you have issues digesting your food, if you have constipation, like if you have stuff going on here in your stomach, that is fear because this is where we hold fear is right here in our stomach. So um, without giving too many details about all that, because this video would be way too long, is just we require recognizing when things are going on with our body symptomatically and physically, that those are just symptoms of a, a deeper a deeper problem, right? In other words, we require getting to the root of it. And, and most of the time, 99.9% of the time, it is energetically and it's emotionally. It's something that you 
you require getting really clear on about what's going on. And if you need help in this and you require some support, reach out to me, okay? I do coaching for people. I do one-on-one coaching. I have a small group coaching. I have my online training programs. But I went through all this. I figured out all this stuff for myself personally. I have literally turned my life around, healed my body. I have vibrant health. I don't do caffeine. Like, I feel phenomenal, right? And I am super blessed and, and, and you know, just I'm super blessed to be able to empower and support other people literally to to change their life. So once again, if you're experiencing any kind of physical symptoms or health challenges, let's get really clear that most of the time it's going to be rooted in something that's a lot deeper than just like, oh, I got this going on because you then go to your Western medical doctor and unfortunately they are looking at everything separately. They're looking at everything as a separate entity of the body. They're not looking at the body as a whole, okay? And that's what holistic health is, is that you're actually taking into account every single thing that has to do with the human being, about what they eat, what they drink, how often, you know, do they get enough sleep? How often do they exercise? Are they in touch with their creator, their God, their source, their universe? Are they getting sunshine? You know, like all these things are so critical because we are so like dynamic, right? And everything is integrated. So you can't really just look at one thing separate from the other. So unfortunately, I've said this many times, but people will go to the doctor, they'll get a prescription medication for a symptom of some sort, okay? And then a couple weeks later, they're experiencing symptoms or side effects from that medication. So then they're going back to the doctor to get another pill to support their body because of the other pill gave them symptoms. So, you know, you keep going round and round chasing your tail, not to mention that that medication is toxic. Our bodies do not recognize that, you know? Very rarely are you going to require something like that that's synthetic or man-made. Most of the time, you can take care of all that for one, by digging deep, becoming more conscious and aware of your thoughts and things that are going on in your life, and then also what you are putting into your body and your lifestyle. Like, all of that is key. If you're super freaking miserable and you hate your job and you wake up every day miserable and, you know, just at, you know, you're uneasy about your your life, right? Let's just say that. And then you're experiencing that on a daily basis. Like, can you imagine what that's doing to your body physically? Not to mention, like, how the hell are you going to be able to take care of yourself and be healthy when you're in a situation that you're miserable? Because it all goes hand in hand. So really, uh, I already wrote this down too earlier. This is like something way down the list. I really haven't even gotten down my list yet. But in other words, a happy life equals a healthy body. And the happier that you are with your life, the healthier that you're going to be. The healthier you are um, going to be for yourself and for other people around you. The more that you're going to be able to have positive thoughts and make changes and make choices in your life to support your body and being healthy. Okay, so that's why this video is about your journey to vibrant health. And the number one thing I'm talking about is consciousness and your thoughts and how you create your reality. That's why I'm touching on this right now. Everybody, you know, loves to hear about foods that you should eat or shouldn't eat and the worst foods to eat and the best foods to eat and, you know, what foods support, you know, the heart and all that. And I love that information too. And I'll be doing more videos about that. But some of the biggest things that people don't understand, and like I said, I never, I never knew this until I learned this, but unfortunately some of the biggest things people don't understand is that, that their thoughts literally create their reality. So I'm here to tell you that that is exactly how it works. So maybe you choose to do a little bit more um, research on that or potentially, you know, comment below on this video. If you're watching it live or if you're watching the replay or reach out to me by personal Facebook message and we can talk more about it. Um, but just remember too, your body is going to go where the mind goes. So whatever you're thinking about, the body is just a dumb terminal. The body is just going along with whatever you got going on up here. This is the generator. This up here, your brain, right? And your mind is actually your brain in action. So if you think about the thoughts that you're having and how all that's going out and creating your reality out in front of you, then you realize like, hey, you know what? Maybe I am overweight. Maybe I, maybe I do have some health challenges. Maybe I am taking medications. Maybe I do have some addictions. Maybe, maybe all these things are occurring in my life, but, and I get to make a choice to make a change to do something different. Literally, to make a commitment to turn your life around. Like, who wants to live the same life over and over and over for 75 years and call that a life? I know I don't. I don't want to look back one day and say, man, I wish I would have this, or I could have done that, or I could have said this, or I could have did that. Yeah, don't let that be you. Like, do it right now. Realize you have the power. Like, that's the word, capital P-O-W-E-R. We all have the same amount of power. I'm no different than you are. You know, I happen to learn this stuff, and now I get to share it with you guys. I get to gift you with all the information and, and knowledge that I have learned through my trials and tribulations, but I'm thankful for them. I'm grateful for them. It's been a blessing, you know? What more of a blessing is it for me to be able to support other people with this valuable information and knowledge? I think it's amazing. So, just right now, if you don't like something about your life, change it. Change it. Quit making excuses, you know? Like, change it. You can. You have the power. So stop blaming everybody else. Stop blaming your circumstances. Whatever it is, 
you can change it. And if you can't change it, because maybe you're in some situation and you just can't change it, sometimes that does occur. But, and you get to change your perspective of it, right? You get to change how you're thinking about it. You get to change, you know, your thoughts about it. You don't, you don't have to look at it in a negative light. You can take a spin on that and, tr- and change it and turn it into something different. So just be happy on the journey. Like that's the key, honestly, guys, to a vibrant health is to be happy on the journey. Not saying I'll be happy once I get this new car. I'll be happy once I meet my divine partner or I'll be happy once I get to go live by the beach or I'll be happy once you know my health challenges clear up stop making it conditional don't make your happiness conditional be happy anyway be happy that you have air in your body you have you know breath in your lungs you have a heart that's beating be happy that you're here on this earth and that you're able to experience life honestly like joy is our default we're meant to be here and have fun remember when you were a kid how much fun everything was like I'm gonna talk about that here in a little bit towards the end of the video about some things that you can do but just remember how fun life was like that shit was fun I remember just being here at my house and like friends coming over and hanging out we'd watch Friday on TV you know we I mean we didn't know anything about help back then but we'd eat queso and chips and we'd be playing some jams some Keith Sweat some Notorious B.I.G. some Tupac we'd be in here dancing like we'd be out there jumping on the trampoline just good old-fashioned clean fun you know just having a good old time so remember how shit used to be fun it can still be that fun now it doesn't matter where you're at in your life you know I'm 36 years young and I'm still you know I'm still all about having fun. That's just how I roll. So, you know, be happy on the journey. Realize that every day of your life is going to continue to be a journey and you're never going to get there. You're never going to get to the end journey, okay? And at some point, you're going to transition into non-physical, meaning that you're going to pass away, you know, from your physical body and you're going to be then into non-physical where you're just going to be spirit, you're going to be source and you're going to be you're going to be energy. You're going to be out there and you're going to be pure consciousness, divine love, but you're actually that same person right now. You're just in a physical body so if you can really get in touch with that and you can tap into that with your source and your creator and your God and your universe and whatever word works for you and whoever you believe or whatever you believe created you if you can get in touch with that right now and just be so freaking happy that you're here then I promise you the trajectory of your life will change your your daily life will change your external world will change because your external world like whatever you're experiencing in your life right now is just a reflection of your internal world it's all about your beliefs that you have about yourself your beliefs that you have about your life and the thoughts that you're thinking. So I wasn't going to share this, but now I am because I'm on a freaking roll. So check this out today. I was working out at Planet Fitness and I was getting crunk. I was on the row machine. I was like doing one arm rows and um, I had my music on. I had my little iPod and uh, I was jamming. I was jamming to Bone and Biggie, that song Bone and Biggie, Biggie. Anyway, so I was jamming, and this little old cutie pie, probably like mid twenties, he, uh, he, I see him in the mirror. So he's like coming halfway across the gym. I can see him in the mirror because I'm looking cancel. I'm looking in the mirror in front of me, and I see him coming up behind me, right? So he comes up, and he's just standing next to me. And I kind of look at him for a split second. And I'm thinking, dang, am I on his machine? Like, what's up, you know? And then he kind of went like that, and I said, and I went, I went like that, and then I hit pause on my iPod thing, and I took my earbud out, and I was like, hey, what's up? And he goes. I just want to say, he was like, you are so beautiful. He was like, and then I was like, and then he says, you're so beautiful. I just wanted to come tell you that, that you're just so beautiful. And I don't even know what he expected my response to be, but I was just like, I go, oh my gosh. I go, thank you so much. I was like, I appreciate you. I was like, that is so sweet. And he was like, yeah, I just had to come tell you you're so beautiful. And then I was like, well, thank you. And then he walks away and then I put my earbud back in and then I really got crunk. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Cause that was so sweet and so loving and so kind. And what I realized is that occurred is I said, you know what? That's just me being open up to receive right because it's essentially my belief about myself that I am beautiful and he just affirmed it right so as soon as he walked up and he said you were so beautiful I just wanted to come let you know that you're beautiful I thought yeah that's because lately I've been putting in a lot of effort and work reminding myself that I am beautiful and I'm perfect just the way that I am and all these different things you know surrounding my looks um and where I'm at, you know, I've talked about being more authentic and me personally, you know, opening up and, you know, sharing those pictures the last couple of weeks of me and how potentially I choose to be a little bit leaner and to get my muscle back and all these different things. And I was just like, yeah. So when he came up and said that to me, it was literally just a reflection of my internal beliefs about myself. So once you really start paying attention to your external world and like all the things that are going on in your life, the stuff that people are saying to you, the stuff that you hear, the stuff that you see, because there is a reason that you're seeing and you're hearing it. 
Like I already told you guys that whatever your mind believes is what you're going to see because literally you're looking for confirmation of your beliefs. So if you're focusing on some negative shit and you keep on getting negative shit in your life, well, bingo, hello, that's what's going on. So once you can make that shift and change it into something else, you will literally see like negative toxic people falling out of your life. You will, you will literally have the desire to start loving yourself more, doing stuff to take care of yourself more, to stop watching drama like reality TV shows. Literally like your mindset changes and you only want to be around the most positive, uplifting. You only want to watch the most positive, uplifting. Like that's just, that's just how you vibrate. Literally you become that. You, you get into that state where you love yourself so much that you literally repel anyone or anything that is not in vibration or in alignment with your vibrational frequency. And I trust that makes sense. And I just went off the chain. Hey, what's up, Tyler? I appreciate your compliment. That's super sweet. Um, thank you for being on. Yeah, Michelle, I don't think he was my divine partner sister. He was like in his 20s. He was in his 20s. He was a cute guy, but I was like, wow, okay, that's pretty awesome. And yeah, I appreciate you, Gloria. Thank you so much. Yes, like attracts like, birds of a feather flock together. Yes, I completely agree. So, you know, I have friends that that um, that um I used to maybe associate with in the past that I don't really talk to that much anymore. You know, people literally just kind of start falling away. And then it's such a beautiful thing because you literally start attracting other people that are like-minded individuals that are literally on the same vibrational frequency as you are that are here to like upgrade that they're starting to wake up too. they're starting to realize all this stuff and then you start seeing like you know what this person doesn't feel that good when I talk to this person or when I'm around that person she brings my energy down or he brings my energy down like you really start seeing things differently that's why it's called consciousness that's why it's called being awake because you straight up wake up and there's always levels of consciousness there's upgrades into consciousness you know there's the ascended masters there's people that are just waking up there's there's so many different levels of it but it continues to be such a beautiful journey and as you keep on peeling back the layers and really just digging into that shit whatever it is that you have going on and you really want to find out more about it and you get to love it and let it be okay and you get to fully feel those feelings because once again I talk about this a lot but remember when we were kids we had our parents telling us Shh, be quiet what's wrong stop crying go to your room you know it was always about suppressing your feelings and not to feel your feelings like as if it was a bad thing so once you start really tapping into that and you really start feeling your feelings no matter what those feelings are even when they're not even when they are the not so pleasant feelings but when you allow yourself to experience that and realize that emotions is just energy in motion e motion e dash motion so it's just energy in motion you get to feel that shit you get to love it you let you let it come through and you let that shit go right and when you can do that, then you're not harboring all that stuff up, which is essentially, like I said a second ago, how that leads to physical symptoms or ailment in the body because you're suppressing something, but you really get to love it, fill it fully and let it be okay. And then you get to see the gift in the shit. You get to see like, oh, wow. So I probably attracted that because of this. And so literally, it's almost like your mind is a map. So once again, your mind is always going to confirm whatever it is that you're believing about yourself or, or, or your life, right? So when you start seeing all this stuff appearing, if anything, it's a gift to you. It is an indication to you. Um, it is a hint or a clue to you that you get to shift and you get to do something different. Like, how amazing is that? I never knew this stuff. I never knew this stuff. And I know this stuff now. And it has literally transformed my life, guys. Um, so I just trust that this is supporting y'all for sure. Um, also, too, that the thing I was saying a second ago about your happiness being conditional. Think about it like this. A lot of times we want something because we believe we'll be happier having it, okay? So maybe I'm waiting on my divine partner or maybe I'm choosing to have this really nice car. Or maybe I'm choosing to move here or go there or maybe I'm choosing to have a different job, whatever it is for you, right? And if you're believing that you can only be happy once you attain that or once that comes into your life, then that is obviously living very conditionally. So just realize that you can be happy right now even though your divine partner hasn't showed up yet, even though you're not driving that badass convertible Mercedes-Benz car, even though you're not living in your mansion over the beach, whatever that looks like for you, okay, only you know, but realizing that you can be happy right now because if you already desire it, then it's already on its way. Boom, truth bomb. If you already desire it and you're already aware of it, then somewhere it is on its way or else you wouldn't even have the idea to have the idea about it anyway. Like how freaking awesome is that? You would never even have the clue to have the idea about it if it wasn't already on its way. So what you can do is you can get more tuned with it, right? You can get more in tune with it. You can open up yourself. You can get on track of, you know, what you're feeling, what it is you're choosing to create, the vibrational energy, the feeling surrounding all that. And that is literally how you open up 
the universe, you open up the world, you just open up all the possibilities to literally attract that stuff to you. So if you don't know anything about the law of attraction, that is a universal law. It is no foo-foo shit. It's the real deal. Do some studying about it if you choose to, but literally open up your mind, okay? Um, you know, take a chance on unlearning and unpracticing some of the stuff that you've been taught as you've grown up. Take a chance on thinking for yourself. How about that? Take a chance on believing whatever it is that really resonates with you from a spiritual perspective and from a higher power in what feels good, not what everybody else is talking about, not what the media says, not all the fear-mongering bullshit on the media and all the other stuff that's going on. Like, literally take time to feel what you feel inside. Feel into your spirit, into your soul, into your being, you know? Literally, spirituality is the unveiling of your soul. You literally lift the veil, you look inside, and honestly, guys, if it's a dark, fearful cave, that is what you require going into. Go into that cave, feel it, experience it, love it, whatever it is. It may be those traumatic, scariest thing that you've ever been through in your whole entire life. But I promise you, if you go into it, you open up your heart and you look at it from a different perspective and you can just really get some clarity surrounding all that and you can love it and let it be okay, it's going to transform your life. Tyler says, if people are ready, the Kabillion is a book of the seven basic laws of the cosmos. Audiobook is great. Fantastic, yes. And I love audiobooks because I love listening to stuff so that I can continue being active as I'm listening. So thank you so much, Tyler. Um, once again, guys, check that out with Tyler commented below. Listen to it 10 times and you will start to get it. Yeah, fantastic. So that that definitely sounds like something I'm interested in. I listen to a lot of Abraham Hicks, which is a lady by the name of Esther Hicks who is channeling a spirit named Abraham. So that's something else you guys can potentially check out if you're ready for that. Um, you know, some of this stuff for some people can be so, uh, what's the word? Maybe just mind blowing at first. Like really wow. Because I know when I learned all this stuff, I was like, holy cow, it's like a whole nother world out there. And you know what? It is because there is more going on in this world than just physical bodies. There's so much more going on. There's energy. There is entities. There is spirits. There's angels. There is other stuff going on besides what you can just see in this one dimensional world. So once you can just open up your mind and take a chance on learning something new and, um, you know, following your instincts and following your heart and following your intuition, you know, for me personally, I was desiring to live by the beach. I had that calling so, so, so strongly. That was another thing that she mentioned too in that book, Mind Over Medicine, that if you're having a hankering for something and your soul and your spirit's calling for something and you keep ignoring it and you're not going through with it and you're not doing it, that that shit is going to cause dis-ease in your body. And so one of the biggest things for me was I required going and living by the beach. And I knew that. And so I did. I found a place. I subleased it for three months in Florida, um, three blocks from the beach. And that was the most healing experience I've ever had in my entire life. I'm sure most of you guys have heard of the movie Eat, Pray, Love. So it was a very, very similar experience to that where I just went and I walked the beach every single day, multiple times a day. I listened to my motivational audios. I juiced all the fresh fruits and vegetables. I went to the market twice a week. You know, I saturated my body with good nutrition. I loved myself fully. I went out there to the beach. I, I walked in the water. I got in the ocean. You know, I sat in the sand. I, I went out there on the nights of the moons. I stared at the moons. I just did all these things that, that I would recommend for anybody else doing as well that literally supported me in transforming my life. I mean, it was, it was a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I'm so grateful that I had that experience. So, once again, if you have some stuff going on in your life and you have something kind of tugging at you or pulling at you and you keep on ignoring it, maybe it's a letter that you require writing. Maybe it's somebody that you require forgiving. Maybe it's something you require revisiting from your past that that shit hurts, that shit don't feel good. You don't want to experience it. But guess what? The gift is in that. The, there is a gift in there for you. I promise you. Like, I don't want to start crying because I am very much an emotional, passionate one. But just trust me on this. I know it's scary and it may not be the most easiest thing, but literally there is light on the other side. This is what is going to bring you into your greatest expansion and your greatest awareness to show up fully in the world and to become the person that you are meant to become, okay? It's not the easiest thing a lot of times for me to open up and share and be vulnerable and be authentic, but I'm doing this because this is a gift for me. What I'm sharing here with you guys is essentially a gift for me because all coaching is self-coaching. So as I sit here and I say these things to you, I am literally coaching myself as well. And not to mention, I'm also being you know a vessel for my soul my God, my creator to speak through me and to speak into you. Okay. Because it, it flows. And I mean, I have stuff written down on this piece of paper here, but th I don't have it all written down. I mean, look how many words are here and how many words I'm expressing. So it's literally like I get downloads of information on what to say and what to say next and maybe to touch on this and touch on that or whatever. And, um, it's beautiful. So whatever word you choose to give it, you know, I mean, um, 
Yeah, and, and I appreciate you guys for allowing me to be here and support you for sure. Um, so just once again, no more conditional happiness. Be happy because you're alive. Be happy because you get to be happy because you have so much to be appreciative and grateful for. So instead of like, I need this, I need X, Y, Z, and then I'm going to be happy or then I'm going to be healthy or then I'm going to do this. You know, like I'm single, okay? I'm 36 years young. I've never been married, no kids. I'm single, but I'm not waiting on my divine partner to show up before I can go do certain things. I'm not waiting on my if I'm parting before I could go move to Florida for three months, you know, like I'm going to be happy and I'm going to, I'm going to live my life right now in the now. And I'm going to be happy and thankful for exactly the way things are. And I know what I know. I know that my divine partner is going to show up at the perfect divine time, okay? Literally, like, I'm doing all the work. I'm stripping all the layers, peeling off all the layers, peeling it all back, doing the work, feeling the feelings fully, digging into my deep, dark shit that, that you know, sometimes can be scary and challenging. And I'm doing all that to grow. And I know that once him and I meet, it's because I am exactly where I'm supposed to be and he is exactly where he's supposed to be. And he's ready and I'm ready and therefore we can come together. None of this, like, where you get together with somebody the oh you complete me story no be a complete human and a complete individual by yourself for yourself by yourself alone okay get to be that first and then seek your partner or seek your mate and if you're already in a relationship and you have a bunch of the codependency stuff going on and you're playing the blame game and you're saying it's their fault or it's because of them that you can't do this or why you feel this way no nobody else is responsible for the way you think and the way you feel you know get clear on that right now and I promise you this I challenge you if you are in a marriage or relationship Start appreciating your partner. Start praising them and start giving them, you know, love and start uh, complimenting them. And then watch how they shift. Like, stop bitching at them and stop pointing out all the things that maybe potentially you don't like about them. Make the shift inside you. Do the inner work, right? So if you're looking at somebody else, like I live with my mom right now, God love her, you know, and sometimes it's not the easiest thing. I mean, I think anybody who lives with anybody, even if it's like your best friend, your college roommate or whatever, but if you're always pointing the finger at them, you got four fingers pointing back at you. So instead of me pointing the finger at my mom, and bitching at her about stuff, I get to do the inner work. I get to love her exactly where she's at. I get to let it be okay. And if I'm choosing for something to be different, I require making that internal energetic shift here. And once I do, she shows up differently. It's a beautiful thing and it's amazing how it works, but that's how it works. Because once again, we are energetic beings. So Tyler says... Live in the vibration like you can afford. Then get to work and be motivated. Being happy and loving what you're doing attracts higher opportunity. Yes, I completely agree. Absolutely. Michelle says, that's a hurdle of mine too, Ronnie, but I know what Mandy is going to say. Okay, let me see what Ronnie said. What if you can't afford what you want to do? Yeah, so I choose to know exactly what you're referring to, Ronnie. Um, but you know what? Go ahead and start visualiz visualizing whatever it is. You know, like I choose to at some point go to like Europe, you know, like I don't necessarily have the ability to go to Europe right now, but I can still think about, you know, everything there and what I'm choosing to experience and how it will feel and how um, what I will see um, you know what I will smell like literally get down to your basic five physical physical senses I'm gonna talk about the about that too here in a little bit about like making a vision board and stuff like that and meditation and visualization and how powerful that stuff is because essentially if you believe that it can happen then it can happen nobody can stop it but you okay so boom there you go what's up Kara thanks for tuning in beauty Tyler says 10 years in a relationship when we love more now because we're always pushing for growth and having gratitude for each other. Yes, amen. And that's such a beautiful thing and that's exactly what I desire to have is for my divine partner to literally be a very conscious individual as I know he will be and, you know, we can come together and we can we can grow together. We can love each other. It's not that I'm waiting on someone to come and complete me to fill in my voids because I've already done all the work and it's such a beautiful thing. So, once again, I challenge you if you're in a relationship or potentially with roommates or, you know, whatever you got going on, if you're not liking something about somebody else, realize that you're being true by it because it's literally a reflection of you. So you wouldn't even be noticing it or acknowledging it if it wasn't something that was already inside of you. So think about that. If you're triggered by something, it's because somewhere or another, there's something of that that exists inside of you. And then you can then take responsibility and stop judging other people. You can stop being critical of other people and pointing the finger at other people. And you can go, hmm, maybe I require shifting that inside of me. And then it wouldn't bother me as much. So I can give a lot of examples about that, but I want to make sure that we're not on here too, too long and that I kind of wrap this up. So once again, a happy life equals a healthy body. So if you can just get happy with wherever you are, no matter where you are, 
Once again, I'm 36 years young. I live here with my mom. I'm in Bryan College Station. Yeah, I took off to Florida for three months and it was amazing and wonderful. And then I came back here for the holidays and I'm still here right now. And I'm literally just waiting on the inspiration to guide me to what's next, okay? Like I'm gonna be happy in the now, in the moment of where I'm at in Bryan College Station, living with my mom, investing time in my online business, supporting others, loving others, becoming more authentic, more real, more raw, more vulnerable to show other people that we get to show up fully in the world. And the more that I can do this for myself, the more that I can give you permission to do it for yourself, right? The more I can set that good example for people. So I get to be happy right now. And if I choose to get up and go back to Florida, you know, in a couple weeks or maybe California or maybe Bali, who knows? But the world is is uh, unlimited. There's unlimited possibilities. Literally, I can do whatever it is I choose to do. But what I am choosing to do right now is to wait on the inspiration. I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to force something by taking action. I'm literally going to use my thoughts to create whatever it is that I'm choosing to create, just like I did with Florida. So if you guys ever saw that, I actually posted a screenshot of the uh, place that I rented in Florida. I found it on Craigslist. It was three blocks from the beach, fully furnished, a perfect price. And it was at a very low affordable price of what I was choosing. And when I decided that I was going to go do that, I was mentioning that to some people and they were, um, you know, the naysayers of like, oh, there's no way you'll find that. You know, there's no way you'll find this. That's, you know, that's, that's a too low of a price, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So everybody had their negative opinions. And I was just like, yeah, I just let them say whatever it was they were choosing to say. And then sure enough, Perfect, perfect place right there on, on Craigslist. And I screenshotted the, uh, the, um, the post or whatever and it worked out perfectly. Put everything in my little convertible car, drove myself over to Florida and had the best time ever. So it was such a blessing. So if you believe it, to answer your question, Ronnie Bernal, if you can believe it, then you can become it, whatever it is. Okay. So maybe you require, um, you know, saving up some money or potentially doing something in order to, um, have the access financially to do that. But guess what? If you start believing that it's possible, you'll start getting the ideas and you'll start being more creative and you'll be led by inspiration, God, source, creator, universe, whatever word you want to give it. But you'll be led on what path to go down in order to create that, to, to really have that experience. So that's that's the truth, guys. Like literally you can do or have anything that you truly desire. So once you can get into alignment with it and you can believe it with no resistance at all because you know it's coming because you're a badass, powerful creator you are. Yes, you are, you. Um, then you can get in alignment with it and you can keep that vision of it and it can come, it can happen. So like I was saying a second ago too about like vision boards and things like that, these are tools and techniques and things that we can use to literally put ourselves in that place. We can literally create that reality before it actually comes into existence. And some of the ways you do that is, you know, like meditation, uh, visualization, um, affirmations, decrees. And the biggest thing is just to not have any resistance about it. Like if you start thinking about something that you're choosing to do, but then in the back of your mind, you're like, yeah, I'll probably never be able to do that. That's never going to work out for me. I'll never have the money to go do that. Like if you keep saying that stuff or even have an inkling of that belief back there in your subconscious mind, then it's not going to happen because you're creating resistance to it. So the key is, is to be joyful, lighthearted and fun about whatever it is and be like, you know what? One of these days I will go to Europe. I know that I will. And then start putting yourself in that place of already gone to Europe. Now that I am in Europe, what's new and different for me? And start literally feeling, touching, tasting, seeing what it's like to be in Europe. And I'm just using that as an example because that's somewhere that I choose to go in my life. And, um, once you can really put yourself into that place, the more you can tap into that from an energetic frequency, vibrational standpoint, like Tyler was mentioning above, that the more you'll be able to attract that stuff into your life. And I know it sounds so fun and easy, and that's because it is, because it really is. And like I said, my perfect example was my thing that I went up and did and uh, that I got up and went and did in Florida. That was a perfect example of that. So um, I had written down on here to share my personal testimony, which I pretty much already shared quite a bit of it through this whole entire video. Um, but also too, so some of the things that you can do to commit to this, I'm going to wrap this up because it's already been like an hour, um, is to commit to, for one, making yourself a priority, making your life a priority, and especially your mindset. Because once again, um, our brain is where we're, you know, we have our thoughts and whatnot, and our brain in action... Our brain in action is actually our um, our mind, okay? And our mind literally is like a generator, okay? So it literally vibrates out energetically and it attracts whatever it is you have in your external world. So make yourself something like a daily ritual. Maybe take out a pen and a piece of paper and write these things down, but make a commitment. Maybe you start waking up, you know, 20 or 30 minutes earlier in the morning to do some meditating. Um, maybe you do it at night before you go to bed. You spend time meditating. Maybe at work, you know, you'll have 30 minutes during the day that you can, you know, 
meditate there at your desk, but make that a priority because when we can stop all resistance by stopping all fault and we can literally stop, you know, any of the thoughts that we have going on in our mind and we can start focusing and allowing and visualizing those things that we actually truly desire in our life, that's how we turn our life around. And then once again, this all leads back to, um, you know, your journey to vibrant health because the more, think about it, the more that you're happy and the more that you have the things that you truly desire and the more things are effortlessly flowing into your life, the happier you're going to be, okay? So for one, we just get to get clear and be appreciative of exactly where we are right now, exactly the way that we look, the way our body looks, whatever we got going on health-wise. You know, if you have something going on, just keep repeating the affirmation like I am super healthy you know I am super joyful whatever it is but take it and flip it and put it into the opposite okay so don't keep focusing on potentially what you have going on because you just keep feeding it and giving it more energy and more energy and more energy like I said the challenges that I was experiencing with my thyroid instead of me thinking about my thyroid about what was potentially actually going on in the past I affirm I actually started changing it and I started affirming and decreeing that it was literally something different you know and I believed about it being something different and that's how once again I weaned off the medication and if you're just tuning in you may choose to go back and watch the very beginning of this video because I've given a lot of really valid info so um, feel my love and appreciation for you guys but like I said you know do a daily ritual make a commitment to spend time working on your mindset you take time to do everything else you wash your hair you brush your hair you brush your teeth you make your food um, you know you clean your house you wash your car think about all those other things that you put all that energy and stuff into but if you're not taking time to work on the very valuable mindset which literally is creating your reality and creating your life um, um, then I highly encourage you to do so. So once again, meditation, um, visualization, maybe do a vision board, affirmations, decrees. The video, the live video that I did on Monday night is uh, pretty badass. So go check that video out. It's on my timeline. Um, it was talking about honoring yourself and becoming, um, yeah, honoring yourself and showing up fully in the world. So that's the title of it. So it's on my timeline and you can also search for it. Just search like Mandy Fonville, honor yourself, show up fully in the world and the video should come up. But in other words, I go over a lot of this stuff in that video and then I have links too in the comments below that video of some meditations and then affirm affirmations, uh, audio by Louise Hay and some different things like that. And then once again, that book is called Mind Over Medicine by Dr. Lisa Rank. And I'll be sure and put that in the comments below here on this video once I get off. So I challenge you to take out a pen and piece of paper and make a list of things that you desire to do, be, and become. Okay, those are the three things. Make a list of the things that you desire to do, to be, and become because only you know those things. And earlier um, this year, like I guess was it... Maybe it was right before it turned 2017 and I posted on my Facebook page. I said, you know, what is one thing you're desiring to do in 2017? And mine is skydive, okay? That is a big thing for me. I've been choosing to skydive since I was like 30 years old. We actually tried to go on my 30th birthday and it was like too um, cloudy, so we couldn't do it and I just have never done it since. So one of the biggest things for me that I'm choosing to do in 2017 is to go skydiving. So, you know, if I was going to make a list of 25 things I choose to do, be, or become, one of the biggest things that I choose to do is go skydiving. So do yourself a favor take out a pen and piece of paper, take out a journal, write down some things that you choose to do, be, and become, then start visualizing, do a vision board, start journaling surrounding all those things, like figure out some of the main, like you're, you're making a whole list, right, and then read over that list, and then figure out some of the main things that are key or that are, that are priority, that are things that you're really desiring to do, be, or become right now, okay, so whatever that looks like for you, figure that out, and then use your very powerful mind as a tool, right, to create all that stuff for yourself. I promise you, it's so fun and easy, and that's exactly how it works, but you require doing the work. You require getting in touch with it vibrationally, energetically, and the key is, is to feel it. Feel your feelings. Feel your feelings fully. It's not enough just to write it down, or it's not enough just to like throw it out there and, and say it in casual conversation. You're really going to believe that it really is going to happen for you. So whatever that looks like for you, only you know. So the challenges are, make a list of 25 things that you desire to do, be, and become for the year of 2017. Make yourself a vision board, start meditating, take out time to work on your mindset, potentially, you know, listen to some audio, some motivational things, the the, the uh, audio that Tyler mentioned earlier above in the comments, um, and then I'm going to post to the, the book 
by Dr. Lisa Rankin about mind over medicine because I believe so many people are not aware that literally um, they can heal their body with their mind, okay? And then, of course, doing everything that goes along with that because once you can change your mindset and you can start loving yourself, then you're choosing to put real whole food, organic food into your body. You're choosing to drink a lot of water and herbal teas and juices and things like that. You're choosing to take out all the things in your life or all the things in your life that are potentially um, harming you, okay? So you literally, you start to love yourself, you start to awaken fully, and then you start making different choices for your life on a daily basis. And it's all the little things that we do on a daily basis that actually add up. So once again, make a list of 25 things that you're choosing to do, be, or become for the year of 2017 and really put in the effort, put in the work, you know, get behind that fully and start feeling everything around that and really believing it because you are the one who blocks your blessings with your thinking. So if you feel any resistance to something, then chances are it's not going to happen. So you require getting really clear that you are a divine being. You have limitless power. You are, an un you are an unlimited creator and that you literally can do, be, or become or have anything that you choose to have. So film 11 appreciate for you. If you're a female and you're on this video and you choose, I have a four-day emotional detox challenge group. It's a free group. Um, I will also put the link below this video. Just click that link, hit the um, the member request or whatever, and I'll prove it for you. But I have a lot of videos in that group that are like this, that are really raw, real, and vulnerable, and just get down to the point on things and about how you can potentially, you know, how you can change your life, but you require doing the work. You know, I can be here to motivate you and empower you, um, but I, I can't make you happy. You get to make yourself happy. You get to figure out what that stuff is that you got going on that you get to flip okay that you get to dig deep and figure it out and you get to flip it and turn it into something else for your greater and highest good and for your blessing so I trust guys that this information has supported you because man I get really passionate about it so it was really, really flowing tonight. So um, if you have any questions or comments, then post them below this video, whether you're watching the live or you're on the replay. And always, you can feel free to send me a private Facebook message. And then my website, too, is above this video, www.mandyfonville.com. It has more information about my online programs. I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I do small group coaching. And just be empowered. Like, be empowered to take your mask off, to be yourself, to show up fully in the world, and to realize that your thoughts create your reality and that you have the power to change your thoughts and you have the power to change your life. You don't have to keep playing the victim and you don't have to keep blaming everybody else because essentially your external world is just a representation of your internal world. So if you choose to have something different in your life, then go on the inside, do the work on the inner and start shifting those things. And then you will start seeing the things in your external world start to shift as well. So Mwah! Film 11 appreciation for all you guys. I'm giving you virtual hugs and kisses. I thoroughly enjoyed this video tonight. Man, I was on fire. It was flowing. So I, uh, I trust it supported you in some way. And feel free to share this video because if it really resonated with you and you had some light bulb moments and something really felt good and powerful about this video, hmm, chances are other people too that are your friends on Facebook, they will feel the same way. And I trust that you guys desire to support me um, by allowing me to support other people through you because I'm only one person. So the more that you guys can share my videos and things like that, the more that I can get this information out to people to support people in changing their lives. So continue to be awesome, shine your light brightly, and everyone who shared this video, I appreciate you so much times a zillion. So film 11 appreciation, and I choose to know who that is that keeps on giving me all those awesome hearts, but I super, super, super appreciate you. I don't recognize your profile picture because it's tiny, tiny, um, but I appreciate all your love and support. I really, really do. Um, and once again, I just get on these videos. Oh, hey, Gloria, there you are, beauty. I appreciate you so much. Awesome, sister. Um, and then Michelle, yeah. Yes, I appreciate you. Yeah, I will probably need an assistant at some time, Michelle. Require an assistant, rather. So I appreciate you, beauty. Feel my love, guys. I love what I do, and I just trust that this that this is a uh, well received by people because it's just it's my it's my calling, you know. And I really believe that this is what I'm meant to do, and, and I'm meant to uh, to do and inspire and empower others. So feel my love and appreciation, guys. Have an amazing Wednesday night, and then have an amazing Thursday and the rest of this week. And once again, reach out at any time if you have any questions about anything. Mwah! Bye, guys. Good night.